you know, I, we had struggles, but it wasn't like we were poor. Like my dad was a rock mason, um, never went hungry. I had a great mom and dad that supported it. And then I had a dad that really just demanded excellence and the strive for excellence and discipline um, when I was very young. And he saw something in me when I was really little, six, five, six years old. He just quit shooting tournaments and just started taking me around and just like was my coach my whole life. My mom and dad sacrificed everything for me to go to these tournaments when I was younger and win through the amateur ranks. Um, and then when I turned 18, graduated high school, and I had won a lot of several worlds and shooter of the years as an amateur, but in high school I quit um, and focused on sports, girls, all the things that are distractions to most high school guys. The whole year of 2006, I graduated in 05. 2006 was my rookie year, never even made a top five, and struggled big time, you mm -hmm. know. Broke, uh, and me and Samantha were trying to like start a life together. You know, mm -hmm. I'm like trying to be a mason, trying to be an archer, trying to be, you know, a fiance, and it was like just not great. And so that whole off season, I'm like, I'm gonna figure this out. Worked my butt off. Um, practicing, practicing, practicing. So I'm leaving to go to the second tournament and Samantha's like, hey, you, you know how much we have in the, our account? And I said, no, I haven't checked. She's like, we're negative 700 bucks. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't go. I was like, well, I mean, you know, it's a $1,200 deal to even get there and entry fees and food and like, okay, like that's it. Like God, I think I get it. I'm not supposed to do this. I don't have the money to go. That was a pretty low place, you know, and I'm like, I just wanted you guys to know first and I'm walking away. And um, my dad was like, look, if you'll go one more time, I'm gonna pay your way just one time and just, just go one more. And I go to the shoot, and so you talk about pressure. It's like, this is it, right? You're backed in a corner. Everything you've worked for and dreamed of, it's like riding on this event. Mm -hmm. And it was like, now or never, bud, like kind of thing. And mm -hmm. so I just started gunning. And I, I think I shot at 18 14s that weekend, hit 16 of them, set a world record that's still never been broken, won the entire event. It's like God was like, okay. Like it almost felt like I had to get to the point where I had given it all that I had. And he was almost showing me like, without me, you ain't doing this, you yeah. know? And so I called my dad, we cried together. and. It was kind of a crazy feeling, like finally, it's like all that work and all that effort and uh, it paid off.